Uh, g'day guys, Trady Trev here. I just wanted to show you a little demonstration of uh, how uh, RCD works in a subboard. Um, as you notice, we've got no MEN link in here. Uh, that goes back to the main switchboard. This is just a little subboard. Uh, we do have 415 volts here over three phases. So you've got your either going down to ground. It um, it will not trip the RCD off the um, on the line side of the RCD. Uh, coming from the mains coming in, that'll be these conductors here. Uh, what we can do to demonstrate how an RCD works is virtually an imbalance um, between the active conductors and going down to ground. The MEN is, is virtually um, one of the things that actually saves people's lives. Um, so I'm very highly recommended of it um, using them. I noticed um, from a few videos I've been watching on uh, the internet, um, especially guys in America, I don't think they are allowed, I don't think they have these in a lot of their installations and um, I find that quite scary. Actually, I was reading that back in the day they didn't even have, um, they didn't even run earth wires out to their outlets, which is, which is very interesting indeed. Um, I think ever, ever since after the um, World War, World War II, um, you know, these were, these were pretty much coming mandatory um, all throughout the world. But basically before the RCD, you've, um, it's it's not going to trip it out. Um, on the load side, the RCD this will this will trip it out, guaranteed. And that's that's caused from the imbalance between the earth conductor, which is joined back at my main switchboard through the MEN link. I'll demonstrate that further, but I'll just uh, show you what happens if we put a fault on it. Bam, RCD trips off. Turn it back on, and. Um, there you go. Could be in on any phase, it doesn't really matter. Let's try it. And the neutral conductor, it shouldn't trip because we've got that flow. It's not imbalanced. So but see how that did see how that did that? That is because the main let me just turn it back on. The reason why that tripped in the neutral conductor is because the main neutral is coming in here into this particular socket and this is actually the neutral bus for the RCD. Get it in focus for you. Focus, focus. So a good way just to demonstrate that, I'll put it in the active conductor, which I don't think I can do and I think I've just fucking damage my test lamps doing so. Um, you need to actually have a proper socket. I need two hands to do that. Unfortunately, I'm holding the camera. Yeah, but as, as to demonstrate, that's going to be fine because that's before the RCD. Anything anything below it, it'll trip it all off. That's all the rest of these breakers as well. This whole um, subboard installation is running through this uh, 40 amp RCD. Only getting fed in by uh, 32 amps. So let me just show you. Let me just show you uh, what's in the main switchboard. Another cool little note I just want to mention about these test lamps is you can definitely test uh, 415 on it. It's actually got two bulbs in series, um, so it'll light a little bit uh, brighter when you chuck 415 across it. Okay, so here's where the consumer mains come in. Your main neutral comes up here. And as you can see, there is the MEN link um, soldered together. There's your exponential bond, and that goes down to the earth stake. But this little link right here is, is virtually one of the most important links in um, the whole electrical installation because that is the uh, little puppy that'll make that RCD trip. Uh, without it, potential voltages <laughs> could liven up things like the switchboard frame and other earthing conductors in the installation. Um, yeah, so I'll just uh, leave this video at that. Um, definitely recommend uh, any guys working in the industry get yourself test lamps. Um, they're going to be much more reliable. All they are is just two incandescent bulbs, right in series. You could probably um, you could probably make up some using using some um, light bulbs, which I've done before in the past. Um, anything to do the job right is always a good way to do. Okay, I'll leave it at that.